There are so many reasons that brought me to Stanford, but I think um, certainly the reputation for excellence, uh, desire to have the best possible clinical training, and at the same time uh, being exposed to uh, national and international leaders in um, innovation, whether that be clinical or um, in basic science and translational research. I was fortunate to work with um, Jeff Gertner and Mike Longacre when I first came here and spent time uh, in the Hagee Laboratory um, doing stem cell biology and regenerative medicine research. I did have a slight concern um, with regards to returning to the lab for my professional development year when I looked at the fact that um, one of my co-residents was uh, doing a uh, folded in microsurgery fellowship and the other was traveling the world uh, under the auspices of the lab fellowship that uh, what I was doing would be boring, repetitive, and you know, wouldn't really broaden my horizons. But I think that uh, what made it a great opportunity is that um, Dr. Gertner basically sat me down and he said, look, you know, you need to build your own career, um, have a think about something that you think is um, related to what you want to do, um, builds on some of the work you've done, but also is um, exciting and um, is perhaps risky and may not work out and I want you to run with it. And um, he did give me that flexibility and I walked over to the School of Engineering and I found some people who used the same technology that they used to make computer chips to nanofabricate tiny electrodes that we put into nerves. And Dr. Gertner has been wonderful in supporting me to do that and so um, I was able to start a project which could be the foundation of my career. I think that as you get more senior in residency, sometimes things become a little bit more flexible. So there are opportunities for me on occasion to return uh, to the lab for uh, a few hours here and there and um, help out and um, work on some of my projects. But the only reason that they are able to continue at all and that I'm able to do that is because of the um, colleagues that I have in the lab who are continuing to carry forward that work and um, you know it, it's it as Dr. Longacre likes to say it takes a village um, and that's undoubtedly true and um, you know I, I give credit to my mentor Dr. Gertner for providing such a supportive atmosphere and um, for really encouraging his trainees to um, continue to participate and to uh, have independence and ask their own questions and then support them when they do so and so um, the reason I did torture myself by going back to the lab is that I do eventually want to have a career as a surgeon scientist and have um, a, uh, some form of research practice alongside my clinical practice. So I um, uh, am going to go to UC San Francisco for uh, a hand fellowship um, and that's my area of clinical interest. I think hand surgery is very fascinating. It sort of combines um, all the principles of plastic surgery as well as um, uh, some of the principles we learn from our orthopedic uh, surgery colleagues and re relies on our ability to not only have mastery of them but to creatively um, implement the techniques um, to address complex problems which are different um, with every patient.